everyone. Let's focus on Mary Kate. Concepcion. You had your 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Go ahead, now. How many of you have heard of the designer Michael Kors? How many of you own a Michael Kors product? According to Harper's Bazaar magazine, one in three people own a Michael Kors product. Michael Kors is one of the biggest fashion empires in the world, according to Forbes magazine. However, to me, Michael Kors is more than just a famous designer. He's an inspiration. I feel blessed to know him personally. I also feel blessed that I'm able to work for this amazing brand and be able to represent him. So I decided to do more research on Michael Kors and who he really is. For me, like many of you, nothing is more exciting than receiving a Michael Kors shopping bag with something special inside. So today I'm going to be sharing with you who the man behind the name really is. I will be sharing with you the history of Michael Kors, what his brand and empire is, and the honors he has received through his years of being a designer. According to Vogue magazine, Michael Kors was born Carl Anderson. His mother was a model and his father was a college student. His parents had him at a very young age and decided to separate. Five years later, his mom married Bill Kors, and she allowed Michael to change his name, so he then renamed himself Michael David Kors. He, gra he grew up in Merrick and graduated from JFK High School in Belmore. Huh. Kors loved fashion from a very young age, and his mom just assumed it was because she was a model. At the age of five, he redesigned his mom's wedding dress. According to ABC News, as a teenager, he designed and sold fashion designs out of his basement, and he called it the Iron Butterfly. According to fashioninformant.com, in 1977, he enrolled in the Fashion Institute of Technology. But <coughs> in nine months later, he chose to unenroll, and he took a job at a boutique across from Bergdorf Goodman. Um, he was given a small place to sell his designs. Don Mello, who was the fashion director at Bergdorf Goodman, happened to be walking past the store one day when she saw him standing in the window setting up his designs. She asked him if she was allowed to show his designs to the Bergdorf Goodman buyers, and that's when it all began. Now that I've told you the background of Michael Kors, I want to talk to you about the brand and empire he has created. In 1981, Michael Kors launched the women's wear line at Bloomingdale's, Bergdorf's, Lord & Taylor, Saks Fifth Avenue, and Neiman Marcus. In 1990, he launched Kors & Kors, which is his first line. According to People Magazine, though, in 1993, because of bankruptcy, he had to discontinue his line. But he made a comeback in 1977, launching a lower price lifestyle line. This was, and he also did, a successful accessories line. Michael Michael Kors was launched in 2004, Kors Michael Kors was launched in 2004, and Michael Kors Collection was launched in 2004. Michael Michael Kors consists of handbags, shoes, clothes, watches, and jewelry. This stuff is priced at lower price items and everything's under $500. Kors Michael Kors now today is the children's line that you see. And the Michael Kors collection consists of clothes, handbags, and shoes, but everything's ranged at $1,000 or above. He has collection stores in New York, Beverly Hills, Palm Beach, and Chicago. He has over 770 lifestyle stores around the world, and 2016 marks 35 years of him being in the designing world. Now that you know the history of Michael Kors and have a better ed education on his brand and empire, let's talk about the honors he has received. According to ABC News, in 2010, Kors received the Oliver Grace Lifetime Achievement Award for Advanced Cancer Research. He's always been an avid person for cancer and wants to find the cure. He also received the Jeffrey B. Lifetime Achievement Award from the Council of Fashion Designs of America. He also received the same year the Foundation Award for Fragrance. It's called the Fifi Lifetime Achievement Award. According to ABC News, Michael Kors is one of Time Magazine's top 100 most influential people in the world. He also made the New York Observer's look for the most influential people in New York City. The Couture Council of the Museum of the Fashion Institute of Technology in 2003 gave him the Council Award for Art History Fashion. This is his <coughs> alum, and they take time in having his design shown. So if you go to the museum, there's the Couture section, and you can see some of his first designs that he's ever created. Out Magazine named him Top 50 Most Powerful People in 2014, and in 2012, he was honored at the Golden Heart Lifetime Achievement Award by God's Love We Deliver. This is a nonprofit company that delivers hot meals to people that suffer from AIDS and HIV. Kors is a gay man, and he understands how this disease is transmitted, so he's been involved for over 20 years. According to Stylish.com, in 2015, Kors was named the Global Ambassador Against Hunger for the United Nations. What he did for them was, was he created a line of watches, and on the face of the watch was a map of the world. And all the proceeds from the watches he gave to stop world hunger. And it's still a thing, you can go and pick them up. 
Also, God lovely delivered dedicated the Michael Kors building at the headquarters of Soho for his ongoing support. This is a company where he donates all his sample clothes or clothes that weren't sold in the outlet stores to women who have jobs or just need clothes for everyday life but can't afford to have them. So you can walk in there and they'll help you out. Hopefully you all have a better understanding about who Michael Kors is, his brand and empire, and the honors he has received. So now when you see Michael Kors store or, or you receive a product, you can remember how you became the queen of fashion. Very nice.